Your Excellencies, the Uyghurs, and friends of the Uyghurs. <clears throat> this is indeed a very tough season for all of us. I still cannot believe that we're all gathered here this evening and this is why we're gathered here remains unbelievable. I can't but play back the numberless meetings and events in and out of the country again and again in my mind. I've looked at pictures and videos of us again and again. Words are definitely not enough to describe how larger than life Hubbard was. He was a doting husband, he was a loving father to all his children, both biological children and all those he adopted. He was extremely hardworking. He was daring, he was bold, he was diligent, he was intentional, he was consistent, he was compassionate, he was caring, he was reliable, he was dependable. Hubbard was loyal to his friends, he was intelligent from every single account we've had this evening extremely cerebral. Herbert was way ahead of his time. He was ever so forward thinking and forward looking. He believed in this country, Nigeria, and he was very patriotic. He did everything to support and promote the cause of this country. Herbert's paths and I crossed about 30 years ago when he was still a baby banker in Guarantee Trust Bank alongside with IPOJ. I saw a bright future ahead of him, but I never knew he would evolve to become the great man that he became. They say the world belongs to those that dare. Yes, he definitely did, and he conquered. Personally, I can't thank him enough for believing in me, for being my brother and my friend, for supporting my dreams, for supporting my aspirations and my vision for the good people of Open State. From the prompt payment of salaries my first day in the office, to the issuance of a private bond, and several visible infrastructure projects that crisscross the landscape of Ugu State, particularly the Gateway International Airport, the Epei Jebudi Expressway, and several others. The history of the new Ugu State will not be complete without the mention of his contributions. He made me appreciate, thank you. He made me appreciate what he called the speed of trust in governance, which was to hit the ground running so as to execute and complete all my planned projects in a tenure. Herbert was always there to provide a bridge. We had so much work in progress coming back from Cairo, but man proposes and God disposes. He was a different person to everyone. 
selfless and promise keeping. I want to thank him again and again. God has called him home at the time of his choosing. Women mortals see this as his prime. But God indeed knows why he allowed this alongside with his loving wife Chizoba and his dear son Chizzy, who is like his son to me. The blow and void of your departure, Herbert, will be extremely hard to feel. Still feel like a bad dream that I'm going to wake up from. And Herbert would walk in anytime and say, What's wrong with all of you guys? That was just a joke. I'm glad I honored your invitation to dinner at your new home, which has turned to be the last supper. Your name could easily have also been Impact because you touch lives across the world. We all weep and grieve because of how much we love and miss you. You've lived an impactful life. The other day someone said to me, that, well, did you know that Herbert has a street named after him in Beirut? I was like, that's so? Because Herbert also impacted the lives of people in Beirut. Herbert lived two lifetimes in one. Herbert, Chizoba, Chizzy, did not do anything wrong to deserve what happened. It was written. It was their preordained exit. Like I said the other day, good and bad things happen to good people. On behalf of my family, the good people and government of the state, I pray the Almighty forgives all Herbert's sins, that of his wife and his son, grant the repose of their soul, while granting his younger parents, his daughter Tucci, her siblings, other family members, I, all your friends, the Axis family, the heart to bear this very tragic loss. You will continue to live forever in our hearts. As the Bible says, he that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live, and whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. May the Lord keep and protect us all in Jesus' mighty name. We will keep your legacies moving. Good night, dear Harvey.